Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. And thank you for joining me on Way Back Wednesday. This is the day of the week when I go back to an old project and I bring it back up to modern times. And I don't have a specific sour cream container project that I'm going back to. I've made them quite frequently, um, various times. But these five that I've got here in front of you are, they all started with a different size piece of paper and they all came from one sheet of DSP. So I've got a really big one over here. I've got a sort of a medium size. This is my smallest one. This is, you know, you'd put maybe a few loose sweeties in there. Going a bit wider. Actually, I think those two were the same size, but they were all, all done in the same method. So I'm gonna show you that. And I have literally, this is one of those use up your scraps of paper and make treats projects. So I'm just gonna sweep those off there for a second. And I have grabbed, a piece of um, paper that I had that was just sat in, you know, in my, oh, hello Fennel, that was just in my um, DSP stacks and I have got a brand new pack of the neutrals on the go so I thought well, that's okay I can use up this bit and this is the shiny um, uh, silver one so this is smoky, I want to say this is actually this is actually basic grey, this one. So I'm going with a paler version, and this happens to be six by 12. It doesn't have to be six by 12, it could be any size, but the method is the same for making your pouch. So we're gonna make a long, thin one. So the method for doing it is whichever direction you want to go in, You so if you wanted a round, a fat box that was that shape, you would put one piece of tape there and two that way. But if you wanted a long, thin one, which I reckon is what we will make. Should we make it with a long, thin one? Why not? We'll make a long, thin one. You would put your piece of tape, one single piece of tape there, and then two on the opposite side. So whichever direction you want to go in is where you put your paper, your tape, rather. So we're going to make a long, thin one. I've got my tear and tape here. So I'm running it along my one side. And then I'm going to go with the two shorter sides. So this is going to be a long thin pouch. This is one you properly stuff with goodies. This is one that you would, well I think you might put in, you know, a small piece of clothing in it, maybe. So, so that's all on and what you do is you peel off your single side first. Oh I can't get the backing off. And you have to be a bit brave and depending on the thickness of your paper is to is it might want to twang open and also the length of the paper makes a difference okay so stuck down now this is very long so i'm going to get my long ruler and i'm just going to push it down all the way down and make sure that is well stuck down. Yeah, I can see. I can see that it's all stuck down there. So what you do now is you come into your top and peel off your adhesive and squish so that this seam is behind your four fingers. So this is such a long piece of paper. I'm hoping you can see it. So squish there. I can see I've got a slight overlap, so I'm just going to grab my paper, snip some trim neatly. I'm going to just reinforce that, because that's well stuck. So you now put your goodies in there, and that is a, well, that is a heck, of a, <laughs> heck of a sour cream container. I don't think I'd want to eat that much sour cream. But yeah, you could fit, or maybe a tie for a gentleman. Yeah, okay. Peel off the backing, and then you're going to squish it in the opposite direction so you get this triangular kind of shape. Now, in the UK, we don't get sour cream in containers that look like this. We have things, we have, oh, what are those? We get drinks or the freeze pop thingies that come in this shape. And I can't remember what they're called. Somebody put a comment, tell us what they're called. I can't remember for the life of me. Um, so this is the back and this is the front. Now, I want to... You know, you'd never want it to twang open, so we're just going to grab the staples. And I love staples on projects. I was a bit, yeah, it doesn't make sense to me. But these are mini staples. These are actually smaller than a standard size staple. Um, I think that might look a bit peculiar, you know, with a great big staple on a project. But yeah, looking good. 
I have some of our silver ribbon. I love this silver satin ribbon. That we've got silver and we've got gold. And I'm going to tie a bow. And I can tie a bow when it's not attached to anything. See? Look! Tied a bow! And it's quite a pretty one too. Well, it would be if I stopped fiddling with it. And trim off the edges. And I'm going to take mini glue dot, a couple of those on the back, I think. Pop it up at the top. And then simply to finish, I've got the Blossom Bunch Punch, and this is Rich Rouselberry, because I went with Brights before. I've got Melon Mambo, Real Red, Daffodil Delight. I've actually got a Cucumber Crush for that one. And Pacific Point, so I'm sticking with the Brights theme. All three out. A little spongy mat. Back of a paper piercer into the centre of all three. And I've got my rhinestones and I'm going to take the smallest into the smallest. Now basically there are three sizes so I'm going to go up in size basically. So the middle size on the middle one. And the biggest in the biggest. Glue dot on the back of each. And just scatter them down. Oh I've lost a rhinestone out of a Melamambo one. Naughty. I'll have to readdress that and we'll have that little one down there. There we go. Fixed. Job done. And so these ones I've got a I've got one here. No, actually I've got two here that have got the little silver ribbon. I tied knots on those ones and then I've got the very fine metallic trim on that one. Metallic thread on that one. So there we go. That's huge. <laughs> bigger than I was expecting but anyway thank you ever so much for joining me and I hope to speak to you very soon bye